Hello everyone and very welcome to the channel. Google has just generated lot of excitement after the release of these two fabulous models which are called as Data Gemma 27 billion rag and Data Gemma 27 billion rig. I just did a video on Data Gemma rag 27 billion as you can see here. In this video, I have installed it locally. We have played around with it along with discussing its architecture and a lot of other things. But for the purpose of this video, I am going to go with Data Gemma Rig 27 billion. We are going to see what exactly this Data Gemma is, what is Rig, and then we will be installing it locally and then we will play around with it on few of the benchmarks. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on good prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. As you can see that this is a 27 billion parameter model. So, the size of these models are roughly around 45 to 50 gig. So, you would have to have um, a GPU with at least 80 GB of VRAM in order to run it fully and locally. So I'm going to use that one courtesy masked compute and I will also show you that shortly. Before that, let's try to see what exactly this rig model is and this data gemma is. So data gemma is a new set of two open models, rig and rag, designed to reduce hallucinations in LLM by integrating real world statistical data from data commons. This initiative addresses the challenge of LLMs confidently presenting inaccurate information. And that is the whole idea behind it. Data Gemma leverages data commons, which is a knowledge graph containing over 20, 240 billion data points from trusted sources like United Nations, CDC, WHO and lot of other reputable organizations. The core innovation of Data Gemma lies in its two distinct and different approaches. RIG, which is primarily all about proactively curing data commons during response generation and as I mentioned this RAG model which we already have covered that retrieves relevant context before generating the responses from your query. Now Data Gemma is built on Google's celebrated Gemma architecture. We have done heaps of videos on Gemma already. This was trained on TPU using JAX and on synthetically generated data from Gemini 1.5 Pro. It has been trained on synthetically generated uh, data. As I mentioned, it gets integrated with existing LLM architecture beyond Gemma. Also, the computational overhead and impact on inference time are important factors which you always need to cater for. You can download it from Hugging Face or even from, I believe, from Google's own Colab Kaggle um, platform. And then uh, there are a few things which you need to be aware of, like Data Gemma is relying on Data Commons for its primary knowledge source. Also, the process of fine-tuning Data Gemma, I'm still not clear about because there is no information as how you can get it fine-tuned and trained on your own data because that's not mentioned in their model card. So I will drop the link to it in video description and then you can play around further. Okay, enough talk. Let's go to my local terminal where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and try to get this thing installed. I will be using this NVIDIA H100 card with 80 GB of VRAM courtesy mass compute. Let me clear the screen. So I'm going to use uh, this Conda environment which I already have created. If you don't know what Conda is, please search my channel. As I already have mentioned, it's not uh, customary, but I would highly, highly suggest that you install virtual environment, either through Python virtual environment or Conda. Once that's done, I would um, request you to install Torch, Transformer, Accelerate and Hugging Face Hub. These three, the first one are the prerequisites and I'm installing them from source because this is such a new model. Only it is um, supported in this um, GitHub source so that you would get the latest one. Also, we would need the Hugging Face Hub because we are going to log in to Hugging Face to accept the term and condition of Gemma model, which I already have done because it's a gated model. So if you're following along, 
प्लीज साइन अप और साइन इन ऑन हकिंग फेस डॉट को गो टू योर प्रोफाइल इन सेटिंग्स गेट अ रीड की और रीड टोकन फ्रॉम हगिंग फेस एंड कीप इट रेडी बिकॉज वी आर गोइंग टू यूज इट बाई यूजिंग अवर हगिंग फेस सी लाई लॉग इन कमांड वंस यू रन इट इट इज गोइंग टू आस्क यू फॉर दैट टोकन सो सिंपली पेस्ट दैट टोकन हीयर एंड देन प्रेस एंटर एंड देन प्रेस कैपिटल वाई and we should be log in so you can see that my login is successful let me clear the screen let me launch my jupiter notebook so that we would be playing around with this model in the browser environment that makes it easier to run so just go to file a new and notebook let's close this and now we are here next step we need to do is to import the libraries which we have installed and then download the model and its tokenizer it's a simple command you see that i'm we are just importing it from transformers and torch and then i am going with this data uh, data gemma rig 27 billion model and the model size as i said might be just around 50 gigs so make sure that you have that ma that much space on your system so i'm going to run it it is going to start downloading the model and its tokenizer and you can see that there are 12 shards of these models so it is it is going to take bit of a time so let's wait for it to get finished downloading and then we will move forward it is still downloading the model i think let's take advantage of this and let's discuss what exactly is a rig or um, retrieval interleaved generation is in this data gemma rig so data gemma rig is used in this retrieval interleaved generation approach which is based off tool use approaches where it is trained to annotate a response with natural language queries to data commons existing natural language interface wherever there are statistics so i know this seems a bit cryptic so i'm just going to show you an example from their model card and i will drop the link in video description so if you come here you will see for example you just give a query to your model any query and this is the output which is coming from a rig so it's a generated english language text in response to the input where statistics in the response are annotated with something like dc which is data commons and then your natural language query to fetch the stat statistics from that data and it, it will tell you that this is the llf generated statistic so what is helping out here is that it is making sure that the response is not only grounded but also properly annotated to make sure llm hasn't fabricated it or lying to you that is the whole idea behind it and what these models are doing you give them any prompt and they generate some questions you take those questions to data commons here and then ask it from their natural language interface and that is what we are going to do shortly and then we will see how the rig response is once it is finished so the speed is bit slow at the moment of downloading so let's wait for it to download and then we will move forward with the inference so the model is almost downloaded as you can see that the last shard is being downloaded now and then it is going to put it on our gpu so let's wait for it to finish should not take too long now and you can see that the size is just close to 50 gig 51 gig i suppose let's wait for it to finish loading onto the gpu and that is all done that is cool now let's do the inference with the rig so here i'm just giving it um what are some interesting trends in sunnyvale spanning gender age race immigration health and all that stuff and then you can just uh employment and all that stuff and this is a question for the data commons and then what it is going to do it is going to generate the output after tokenizer is tokenize the text and then it is going to decode it back to us and we will print it out so let me run it and then let's wait for it it's going to take bit of a time and there you go we have the response and you can see that we asked a about sunnyvill and it has seen uh, it is saying that ca sunnyvill ca and we didn't actually mention ca there but it has been very intelligent enough and it has seen significant progress in gender age and all that stuff and then there is a break breakdown around gender and you see that this is 
the statistics here and then it is telling us the rig thing that data commons what was the percentage of females in Sunnyvale and not only the question but also the answer here around the statistics similarly there you go around age and then there are a lot of other citations and then rig the interleaved information as you can see how good is that really really impressive very impressive and these are economic conditions and all that stuff so this rig really opens up a new avenue of research here i mean and i'm expecting more and more models uh, following that approach especially when it comes to reducing hallucination in the rack pipeline so all in all great stuff um, from google as usual i will drop the link to it in video description play around with it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching